Yo, YouTube. It's Big Mike for Life for Thirty Retro. Uh, yeah, it's been away, been away for a little bit. Uh, sorry for the the absence, but uh, been a bit going on. A few things been changing and everything. So, uh, better do another pickup video. Cheers. Right, so a lot's been going on. <laughs> the obligatory right. <laughs> so a lot's been going on. Um, yeah, I've been sort of uh, evolving the collection, sort of um, thinning down certain parts of the collection, uh, expanding on others. Um, basically, uh, anything I've got no intention of playing, um, you know, there's no point for it being in my collection. If I haven't got an intention of playing it, then, you know, it, it, I've not got enough space as it is. As you see behind me, I've got loads of me stuff just listed and, and whatever have you. I've done a few deals with a few other tubers, been doing quite a bit with... Uh, Mark Burnt Out Culture. If you haven't seen his videos, uh, last one is uh, some pickups from me. I think the last two or three he's had some pickups from me. Uh, his next video's got a, quite a big pickup from me as well. So um, if you haven't gone over to Mark Burnt Out Culture, just go over there and uh, check out his vid and uh, see what we've been doing. Um, but like I say, yeah, for me, um, I've got far too much stuff uh, and not enough space. So... Um, I, you know, I could probably play a game or several games every day from now to the day I, I uh, go on to the the, ne the next life and, uh, you know, still not run out of games to play. So um, if I've got no intention of playing it, uh, it, what's the point of it being in my collection? I may as well let it go on to uh, a, another collector or, uh, you know, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. Whereas it's, it's just sat on my shelves uh, gathering dust and, you, you know, I could do with the space to put in things that I actually want to, uh, well, what I want to play and use, and, and you know, it's it's a bit of a shame all the, you know, having all these games, and they're not getting the appreciation that they deserve. So, we've been, like I say, we've been letting quite a bit get, quite a few different bits go. We've got, you know, um, I basically uh, there's certain collections I've, you know, got no sort of attention or no love towards. So, uh, or you know, um, I mean, one of the collections I'm slimming down. As you see behind me, those those all listed there. Yeah, one of the collections I'm, I've been slimming down is my PS2. Um, it's the second time I've actually slimmed the collection down. I believe I had around 700 PS2 games at one point. Uh, I then slimmed it down to 500. <laughs> um, I now think I've slimmed, I'm slimming it down by another sort of, say, 350. Um, you know, or, or around those figures. I keep finding games everywhere and games I didn't know I had, so I'm just sort of... You know, I'm I'm just keeping the select ones that I want to sort of uh, play. Um, I'm also sort of modding a lot of um, my consoles and that. Uh, I don't know if I'll show that in this this pic. I'm not modding them. I, <laughs> me with a soldier and iron is is a uh, attempt. Uh, you know, probably going to end up with some sort of uh, accidental arson with my whole flat burning down. So yeah, I've been I've been picking up some modded consoles. Um, you know, uh, along the journey, and I, I intend on picking up a lot more. Um, uh, which is, I believe, this is the way forward. I'm going to sort of go with things, um, but we still have been picking stuff up. So that, that's one thing I find as well. You sell something, you get a bit of money, and then you think, oh, I wouldn't mind buying that. I wouldn't mind picking that up. So, uh, but without further ado, let's get on with the pickups, eh? Right. <laughs> I can't have stopped saying it. <laughs> right. The first one is um, the annoying thing is this the condition. This one really done my head in as well. Um, it is con Command and Conquer Retaliation on a PlayStation. The, the front cover has already fell off, so I'm going to have to do a case upgrade for this. And unfortunately, the uh, the CDs were in awful condition. So I double CD this one. Um, I did sort of, you know, I don't know, found it for quite cheap, and uh, I bought it. And unfortunately, I should have gone for like maybe one that's slightly more expensive. This one, but it's Sun Command and Conquer Retaliation. Uh, like I say, I believe this is probably the dearest uh, Command and Conquer on the on the PlayStation. But I've got got all of them now. So, so Command and Conquer Retaliation, really, really good game. I haven't played that one yet. Uh, next one is Command and Conquer Red Alert, Black Label Edition. It's quite hard to get Black Label. I'll probably case upgrade on these. See, they've gone a bit funny where I've removed the labels. Uh, yeah, I'll probably upgrade the cases on these, but Command and Conquer games are great. Um, I actually played the, most of my hours on Command and Conquer, probably on the original Saturn, which I do have a a mint copy of it on the Saturn as well. So, but yeah, it's just I just wanted to do all the Command and Conquers on the PlayStation. So 
I believe that's all of them now. Three, isn't there? So this next one. By the way, if I've if I've showed any of these before, I apologise. It's been a while since I've done a pickup. I don't think I've showed all of these before, any of these before, but I could be wrong. So I, I apologise if I do. This one, um, bit of an anomaly. <laughs> Is it, that's how you say it? I just seen it on eBay, thought it was quite funny. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I'll buy it. Um, which is, it's a, obviously a Russian knockoff. Um, <laughs> Rapid Reload, Metal Slug 2, or Metal Slug 2, Rapid Reload. <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. Um, obviously it's a Russian copy. Well, I'm going to be interested to see if this actually loads on a PlayStation. But I just thought it's an unusual thing to have in a collection. And, uh, you know, who else is going to have one of these... In their collection that's not Russian. <laughs> Probably only me. So. Looks quite interesting. It seems to be on. Just like a standard CD. It's not black CD. Like obviously the official PlayStation stuff. Be interested to see if this loads. If not I'll have to load it on. Probably a chipped. Uh, chip PlayStation. But nevertheless. Rapid reload. So <clears throat> you might be able to play it. Get it through that. Right, I'm not sure. I possibly might have shown this before. I don't think I have. But if I have, like I say, I'm sorry. Um, as you know, I love collecting for me plus three. Uh, I thought this was mint condition. Put in, I uh, believe this cost me about £10 delivered. Which is Scrabble on the Spectrum plus three. Um, in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, it's all in there. It's, uh, you see, you've got the, uh, the, man, the Manuel. Then the, the disc. And then the ill-fitting foam that's not cut out big enough. But it sort of just sits there. But nevertheless, you got to think this is... Uh, how old is it? 1986. 1984, 5 and 6. So, would it be 86? Possibly 89, I think. Nevertheless, it's about 30 years old, isn't it? Coming around 30 years Around 30 years old. So to be in that condition I think is uh, very, very nice. And one to add to me. Plus three collection. I've actually uh, been sorting out a lot of my games. Going through listing everything uh, and all my stuff. And I've actually got a massive Aldi bag of plus three games. I've showed them in my pickups and everything. But I've got to clean and test them all. So I think my plus three collection over the, the period of the last couple of years has probably doubled. So all, all, I've got probably... And the same amount as tested, cleaned, uh, working uh, plus three stuff, and I've got another bag, a whole big giant bag full of uh, untested stuff that I've bought. So <laughs> it's crazy. I've got a lot of work to do with a lot of it. So same with Amiga stuff. I've got so much of that to test and clean. Uh, but we're getting in a position where everything's set up and we can clean, test, and play. And we're sort of getting to a better. I've been playing a lot more games recently, which is good. Um, this one, you'll have seen this case before, which is Thunder Force 3. Great game. Very, very hard. Um, I'm, I had a go on it. I wasn't very good. <laughs> I suppose that much is, uh, that much is known, isn't it? Like, I wasn't very good on it. Um, but what this actually was, is an upgrade of some sort. So, obviously I have a manual. My cart was in a real bad way for this. So, I, I basically, I believe it's, I get the thing out. My cart was in a real bad way. Um, unfortunately, this one is slightly sun faded. If you can see, see there, that's the actual colour, and that's the the sun fade. Well, at least you know it's original. But um, <clears throat> yeah, the label's all all there. It's all intact. Whereas my one was all sort of torn and ripped along the top here. It wasn't in a good state at all. So I wanted to upgrade. I believe um, bought that cart for about a tenner, and I sold my cart for about a tenner. So. Uh, Happy days. So uh, that was pretty good. Next one is something I've been after for quite a while. A uh, bit of a bit of an uh, unusual one. I've been like say, I've been, uh, cutting down the PS2, but I've seen these and these are sort of um, I believe it's the Sega Classics collection, but it's sort of re modern revamps of old games. So what sort of takes my fan fancy on this is the Golden Axe, it's sort of the 3D affair. Um, I managed to pick this up. I believe a fiver. This usually goes for around sort of seven pounds, seven or eight pounds, and it's sort of sort of ramped up versions of old old games. So you've got Outrun there, you can see. This doesn't look like Outrun. It looks like a sort of three D polygon version of Outrun, doesn't it? Um, you got Outrun, Space Harrier, uh, Bonanza Brothers, 
on Tant R and Bonanza the Brothers. I don't know why. Fantasy Zone, Golden Axe, Virtual Racing, Monaco GP, and Columns. Um, like I say, I don't know if you see the Golden Axe there. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the music, so it's sort of orchestral, so it sounds really, really good. Um, and I'll be just clamping my T-shirt in the bloody case. Yeah, I'll just be interested to look at it. I've been, since I've known it's out, I've been interested to get it. Really, really um, pleased to get that, especially for a fiver. It's, it's bargain at that price. Uh, right, we'll go with something a bit more boring. I've just bought this. Uh, I'll open it now on camera. So, I'm not sure if this is... Yeah, it is the Amiga version. Um, Zybox. Amiga version in these horrible cases. But me, me, Sydney, and a few others, Mr. Bads, we all like to collect them. I'm like, this one's got a nasty crack all along the back. I don't know if that's happened in postage, but it's just a bit of a tinge of a yellow to this as well. But um, nevertheless, I think I paid between five and ten pounds for this, and now it won't shut. <laughs> whoever, whoever designed these boxes really does need to be lined up and shot, because they are terrible. I'm going to have to leave that open. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't got a clue. Whoever designed them, yeah, they need marching up the garden and, and uh, the firing range. So uh, the next one, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if I've showed this. I possibly have. Uh, it's an unusual game. I've never seen it before. Got a feeling someone may have done what I do with boxes on this one. It's Conflict Europe. And they seem to have stuck an Amiga label on here, whether it's that's on there or it's coming off. And uh, there's a label on the back. Something's been stuck over an another label. So I'll probably just remove all those. I don't know. So I've got a feeling they might have used an ST box and stuck a an Amiga sticker on there. And done a bit of a me. But uh, nevertheless, it was like next to nothing. It's probably like three or four or five pounds, I think. Um, again, a compilation I don't have. I probably have all the games. Um is there anything any good on here? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Operation Wolf, I don't know how good Operation Wolf is on the Amiga. I think it's quite good, actually. Um, but the controls, I've never used it with a light gun on the Amiga. Um, got Batman, the Cape Crusader. Got Double Dragon, which is absolutely awful. And you've got Afterburner. Now, there's two versions of Afterburner on the Amiga. Um, I think one, I believe, is... Uh, the British release, which would have been by US Gold. Um, and I've got a strong feeling another release was a, uh, an Australian release, um, which was actually quite good. Um, so the one we got in the UK was, was crap. Uh, but the Australian release was really good. Now, back in the day, um, I used to go out with my mum on the buses for little, little sort of day trips and stuff. And I actually bought Afterburner in a little local game shop we found. I can't remember where it was. Just used to jump on the buses and just go for a day out. Uh, and, you know, if I was lucky, I'd, my mum would let me get a game or something, you know. And that day I actually got after it. I believe the version I had was the Australian version. And it was really, really good. If it's not, I'm pretty sure it's Australian version. There's two versions. But the, the one we didn't get here was great. The one we got here was awful. Absolutely awful. So, um... No doubt the awful version's on here. But if you get to see it, if you go to WHD Load on um, a lot of the Amigas, I think it has both versions. So, But yeah, so um, yeah, as 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 with most uh, US Gold games we got, they, they weren't very good conversions. Some were, like I say, Shadow Dance was was good. Um, but uh, yeah, Double Dragon isn't very good on here. It's like on the Spectrum and the graphics on here and on Spectrum. Look, like the, the knife looks like a bloody lo a French baguette, doesn't it? So nevertheless... Nice little compilation. Um, I believe it's around a tenner. So quite happy to get that. And it's not going to open because it's sealed or something. Or I've never opened it. So. <laughs> so, But it's all there, I believe. Well, I haven't opened it or anything. But yeah, I believe it's all there. Um, something that's not all there, <laughs> apart from myself. <laughs> this is missing the poster. Uh, I am on the lookout for the poster. And this can go for some crazy money. Uh, well, well, I've seen people asking crazy money for this anyway. Um, I've seen one complete and they were asking for 150 on this. Um, mine isn't complete. It is missing the poster. But it is 
the original version. I believe there's a almost like a censored version of this game, but this is the uncensored version with the cover matches the poster. Um, and it is a game that I used to love on the Spectrum Plus 3. Uh, not on the Spectrum Plus, just on the Spectrum. Um, which is Vixen. But this is on the Amiga. Um, like I say, unfortunately, um, missing the poster. But in there, it's all supposed to work. So, and like I say, po including poster, I have seen people trying 150 for this. Uh, so I got this 30 plus delivery, I think. So, but like I say, this is this is a sort of rarer version. Um, there is ones that I think the girl's a bit more covered up on the other version. Uh, but that is a this is the match in the poster, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's nice to have this on me because you don't see this every day. So, I think it's a slightly rarer title. So, and to pick it up for say thirty five quid, I was uh, more than happy. Okay, next up is uh, even though I don't have a Vita at the moment, I'm, I'm uh, after a, a PS Vita, and one of the games I'm uh, very keen to play. Um, it's the only one I haven't played at the moment, which is, well, I tell a lie, I've got them all, but I haven't played them all, um, is Uncharted on the Vita. Now, I know this isn't by Naughty Dog. It was actually licensed out and um, created by Sony, but it was sort of under the watchful eye of Naughty Dog. And it is supposed to be the worst of the games, but nevertheless, it still is supposed to be a good game. So, good to get Uncharted, The Golden Abyss, into the collection. Looking forward to playing that once I get a Vita. <laughs> I got a Vita collection, but I don't own a Vita. I did have a Vita, but I sold it because I got some pretty good money for it. Um, right, next up. Um, the other week, I bought a bundle in a charity shop. Um, I subsequently sold most of that bundle. Uh, there's a few games that I'm sort of... Uh, I'm in an eye on whether to hold on to or not, but I think I'm going to hold on to them. I mean, I could, I could, I could sell them, but... I've already had back the money that the, the, the bundle cost. I've already doubled the money on the bundle. And I've still got some games left. So one of them is Far Cry Primal on the Xbox One. Um, I might have this on the, the PS4. Um, if I do, there's no point in me having it on two systems. I will sell one. And as you know, the Xbox is the more powerful console. And it's the one i got rigged up at the moment. So... Probably be the PlayStation one that's going, unless the other one's worth. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to see. Um, the other one is there was actually three free Xbox One games. Uh, one of them I sold. Uh, it was a kids game. Um, done, sold of fifteen quid actually. Um, posted, delivered, uh, but done really well with it. But the next one is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I can say again, great to get. I've actually got this on my. Um, my account on Xbox, but uh, you can't be having a physical, can you? Really, and for the price I pick, pick this up for, it usually goes for about you know, it's, I think it's about six to ten pounds, isn't it? This one, but uh, I, I paid less than that for it, so I was really happy. Um, I'll keep with the, the charity shop deal. Um, these are some more games from in, in that same charity shop deal, which is Fight Night Round 4 on the Xbox 360. Um, as I'm not much of an Xbox 360 man, but I am a boxing man, and the boxing games are few and far between. Uh, you've got this one and Fight Night Champion as the two latest boxing games. They're worth a crack. They're quite a good laugh. You get sort of all the Mike Tyson's and 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 what have you, Muhammad Ali. So worth keeping that for the price I paid. Um, and I probably will keep all this one because I don't think there's a lot of money in it. Um, like I say, the deal's already paid for itself anyway, and I've, I've, I've doubled my money. Uh, it is Lynx Crossbow Training on the Wii. Um, I think it's just a simple sort of uh, sort of shooter. It's sort of almost like a just like I say, a little training game, isn't it? But uh, nevertheless, I'm interested to have it and interested to give it a go. So I may as well keep. It hasn't cost me anything, you know. In fact, I've made made money on it, so. Um, you know, if you do, I need to start doing more of that instead of spending me money, make money when I when I buy games and, and sell games. You know, um, the next one is uh, a heads up from uh, our man Dylan, uh, and he said this is going for a good price. Now I've been waiting to buy this game for a long time, but I wanted to get it for around the sort of twenty pounds mark. Dylan gave us the heads up at fifteen, and it is 
Days Gone on the PS4. Looks a cool game. It's sort of zombies, zombie apocalypse, isn't it? You, you know, you set traps and try and rescue people. You got your motorbike and everything. Looks really cool. I remember, Mister Bad's got the uh, the sort of real limited and really expensive version of this, and he recommends it and says it's a good game. So, uh, like I say, I'll look forward to playing it. And for fifteen pounds, can't go wrong. Um, yeah, it came from A O, and I said, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, so A O, let's go. Fifteen quid all day long. Nice one. And uh, the final, the 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 piece de resistance, uh, the final game in the bundle. Uh, I don't know if anyone's shown one of these. Actually, we've all played it. Um, I would say it's pos- prob- probably one of the best games. Um, of recent years, it's one of the games that I haven't heard anyone say a bad word about it. It's not a perfect game for me. Um, it's a little bit, it cheats a little bit if you ask me. Um, you know, say like if an enemy throws a grenade, a grenade will hurt you, but it won't hurt their friends. You can't get selective grenades in real life, can you? And things, same with bullets and things like that. And sometimes you'll, they'll have a little, like, little tussle when it doesn't work out your way, which you think. Yes, a little bit cheap. But other than that, it, I would say it's just it's in the strong nineties this game, definitely. Um so I suppose I just sort of show it in there. So I bought the limited edition of this from Limited Run. And here's a little card it comes with. So that is Streets of Rage 4. Um with limited run there. And um comes with some sort of Newsletter poster thing telling you about a few latest games and that that's coming out. Um, Streets of Rage 4 CD, which I'm really happy about because I haven't got, bought the vinyls. Um, but the uh, the music in this game is fantastic. Um, I didn't think it was by the original guy. I thought it was by another guy, but it looks like he's done some of the tracks for this. According to the back, I think that's the first guy, isn't it? Yuri Yuzo Kurashiro is the original guy who done the same trick, isn't it? So perhaps he done some of the tracks for this, and, and the other tracks are done by another guy. But the music is just absolutely fantastic in this. So I'm really happy to get this. I mean, I used to blast this out through the stereo. Really, really, really good. Really, really happy with that. And uh, this isn't the um, super, super limited edition. They done a version, it was like. $150 or something. This is actually the one slightly down from that. Um, I didn't think it warranted the extra money, to be honest. They, it had a little statue and there's a few other bits and pieces. But I'd already ordered this by the time that they said that that was cut. You know, th- this was the super duper edition and then they do, oh, super, super, super duper edition. So I'd already ordered this. I know a lot of people. Um, this, for me, the, the limited run release of this was very, very poorly executed. Um, it got released by about four different people, all with their own limited editions and um, blah de blah de blah. And uh, yeah, and I, I just stuck with my edition. I know a lot of people felt. Um, I mean, um, Sega Zombie Scott Brand he uh, he cancelled this and ordered it from someone else for someone else. So, but I just left it as as is uh, and and stuck with this version. And it's finally come from. I've had it a few weeks. I've just sort of sat here for this video, um, but I suppose. We know we'll go through it and open it now. This is a great game. This is the Sega. So was it the Sega Genesis style box? So it is that. Now it's actually um, it's quite a bit bigger than a than a than a Mega Drive box. It's yeah, it's quite a bit. I don't have any to. I said I don't have any to hand. I don't want to pull one off the shelf and hit myself in the head. Uh, see if I can uh, pull one off. Right. So. So if I, ah. right, so so you got that there. So there's a Mega Drive game, but if you look how thick, you know, it's just sort of really sort of in the sort of style. It's got the, the hang tab and everything there. So uh, yeah, it's just happy to. Uh, it's just cool. I I, I wasn't sure if it's going to come in a Mega Drive style box, but I've not opened this. Um, you see on the back, it's a it's a great game. It, if you haven't played it, find it on a download cheap. Um, I, I I basically the night this came out, everyone was uh, 
everyone was getting all excited about it. Everyone was like, oh, no, I'm playing it, oh, I'm playing it now. And everyone said it was giving such good things about it. And then someone said, oh, it's on Xbox um, Gold. for uh, If you pay 99p, you get a month's gold for 99p, and it's on the on the gold. So I just paid the 99p, and um, <laughs> I've been on gold ever since. 10.99 a month now on gold. But you get access to 100 games. Uh, there's All the sort of latest games are on there, to be honest, or a lot of the latest games are on there. Um, and this was out the day it came out. It was on there, so. But nevertheless, it's always nice to have physical. And um, let's open this up, shall we? <laughs> and Dylan's going, no! <laughs> but yeah, no, games are meant to be played, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Probably taking any value out of it now. But no, I'm, the, you know, I will give this a, a go again. I've got it on the Xbox, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I say there's a good hang tab. It feels, it feels like a Mega Drive box. You can, you can feel it. It's uh, got a sort of a bit of a texture to it. Feels a bit, I'd say, I'd say it probably feels a little bit cheaper than a Mega Drive box. You know, like the cheaper modern plastic that they've got. But uh, let's see what's inside. Yeah, you know, see if we can open it first. Let's just sell me a box of glue together. There we go. Crack. Right, and uh, here's what you get when you open it. So. <laughs> Glare. The Streets Rage 4. The PS4 box. So it's it's well, it's clammed in like the some of the Mega Drive ones as well. It's got a clip at the top and bottom. Am I gonna damage this on the way out? I don't know. It seems right, so we've got oh here we go. Okay, so that's out, so I'll show you what's this. So that's the can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've got a reflection on the screen. Um, so that's that. Streets are age four. It's numbered, isn't it? So, yep. Yeah. If you can see that. And, uh, see that. So that's that. Now we got. I don't know if this is a steel tin or. I think it is. Yep, yeah, it is. So I think it is. Um, in a nice sort of <laughs> condom sort of feeling without without the uh sort of you know it's sort of a it's got a funny feel it's almost like a rubbery you know but but without the lube <laughs> so have a look so there's uh three three four that's nice isn't it yeah that's nice that's nice that is then on the back You've got the moody picture, and then inside here, um, yeah, that's really nice. So um, you've got the three, three, four, and they're sort of the the gang there. And uh, that's the so if you see that, I'm trying try not to get the glare, but that's a oh, that's a really nice, that's a nice case. That's really nice. It's got a what effect there? Uh, you... It's sort of sort of matte here, and then this is a gloss sort of effect. Do you see it? See it there? See, you can see it. Yeah, that's really nice. That so I'm I'm really really chuffed with that. Um, yeah, so I'm really really pleased. With that. Let's put it back in the old uh, car. <laughs> It'd be like a naked gun suit, won't it, in this country? We'll all be walking around in these like a naked gun, you know, to protect us from each other. <laughs> you know, if you remember the scene, I think it's Naked Gun 33 and a third. And they're in big condom suits. <laughs> and that's the way the world is going, isn't it? When you see another human being, run. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, we're living in complete madness, but... I thought we'd have more than that inside, to be honest. Um, obviously, we've got the, the, the... I don't like this either, the way that this uh, this clicks into... Ah, it's okay. It's, sort of, mm, it's a, That's going to rip that open. That will rip that open at some point. But I'm going to rip it open at some point as well. So, <laughs> But yeah, I quite like that. I'm quite, quite impressed with that. I think it's cool. We had about 70 quid, I think, delivered for that. For the limited edition box... The, the steel tin 
got this nice, lovely big box as well, which is very, very sort of unique. I think you've done a couple of these, haven't you? But it's the first one that I've seen. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. And like I so you've got the, the the music CD. I should probably keep all this inside. But just sort of do it. And you've got the nice little card there as well. So I think it's quite a nice little package, to be honest. Um, there's a few more um, limited games I've ordered. I think I've ordered that Xeno Crisis, is it, on uh, PS4. Some big limited edition. Uh, that's the problem with these games, though. You order, you order them, and they, they take so long to get to you, don't they? Um, nothing like the Spectrum Next. No three years, but um, you know, oh, the Spectrum Next, the the, the new, the new, uh, the, the second run has done very well. I think it's at one point three million at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's doing doing quite well for a fad, really, isn't it? Uh, so you know, two and a half million or something. Or well, no, so I think it's at seven hundred and fifty. So yeah, so it's done two million um, so far. So um, I think it's doing doing quite well. Um, I think also with the more machines that are coming out, you'll start seeing people using the power of the machine. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more releases on the machine, uh, physical releases, because by the time I got my Spectrum next, um, they released the boards a year or so before, um, and all those guys bought up all the games, and we can't get the games. You know. I'm, I don't know if uh, uh, Craig's probably watching this from uh, Revival. Gutted that we're not getting Revival in November. Um, really, really gutted about that. Um, things seem to be going back to normal a little bit. I know I've, I've watched, uh, you know, big events are starting to get get put back on. Um, I've, you know, I'm into my boxing. So, uh, you know, the boxing supposedly October, November and December. There's supposed to be some shows being put together. Uh, with the O2 in London and possibly another venue in London as well. So I don't know how they're going to sort of uh, do that. I should imagine it's going to be social distancing. There won't be as many people, you know, you know, uh, too, too, too sheep apart, um, you know, in, in all directions. And, uh, you know, hand sanitizers everywhere uh, and, and, and whatever else have you. But, um, you know, uh, it's, 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 the, it's the way the world seems to be going at the moment, isn't it? So... Uh, what can we do about it? But, <laughs> but you know, like I say, I'm gutted that there's no revival. Um, I think it, the times that we we got at the moment, I can un I can completely understand. Uh, Craig and his family fund it themselves. It's a non profit or uh, it's non profit event. Um, and obviously, if you're going to put your money into an event at this time, you're more than likely going to lose money, even with a really successful event like Re revival. Obviously, they would have to do smaller numbers to comply with the new government rulings um and it just it just really sort of it sort of ruins everything doesn't it i think, I think the way this year seems to be going is it, for me i don't want to be a negative sort of person but for me it seems like 2020 is a, a massive write-off at the moment we haven't had much to look forward to it doesn't look like we've got much to look forward to like i say there's a couple of boxing events for me the end of the year but there's no sort of gaming events where we're all going to meet up so i think i think me old school and mark at least are, are definitely do a meet at mine if i can get it in some sort of state where i can have guests in here um those boys are always welcome they know that and uh we'll have to do something because we need to do something to to bring bring up the morale in this in this country it's it's uh with all what's going on all everyone being locked away told where to stay away from each other it's not good we're we're, we're, we're social creatures um and we need to we need to socialize um so uh like i say <laughs> i just can't wait so we're all getting together again like i say we're look i was looking forward to revival for november but obviously i can understand uh you know until they can put it on in, in, in a proper safe capacity uh and and, and one where they're not going to lose money because that's the last thing i'd want is for, 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 for them to lose money you know they, they put on these fantastic events for us um you know and 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 you know we can't you know, it's really, really appreciate it, and I don't want them to lose money at all. I'd rather them not not put it on than to lose money. We wouldn't expect that. But if, <laughs> if we need someone to look forward to, so I don't know if we're all gonna have a meet up. I know the boys are having a meet up at uh, Arcade Club. Uh, I forget the date with that one. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna be able to go to that one. I won't be able to afford it, unfortunately. Uh, but all the lads are going. Uh, you all enjoy yourselves. And have a good time. Drink a pipe for me. For me. Uh, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. So hopefully, like I say, I'll, there'll definitely be something with me, uh, old school and, uh, and, and Mark, Burnout Culture. We'll all be uh, having a gathering at my event 
uh, my event, my, my home. <laughs> Without further ado, studios, we'll definitely be having a, a, a get together at mine. Uh, even if it's just to get together and spend some time together and, and sup a few pints, like, you know, we need something. We need something to save this year. All right, YouTube, um, I've got some videos. Um, there's more stuff to show you, but it's not in this room to show you. I might, I might film it now. I'm, I'm doubtful, <laughs> to be honest, is <laughs> a squeeze to, to, to push this video out. But, um... Yeah, I've got, I've got some more stuff to show you. I've got some, like, some modded consoles and some cool bits of kit. Um, you know, uh, it, 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 I'm really chuffed with it. You, you might look at it and think, oh, that's not that impressive. Or, oh, you've well overspent there, Mike. You know, um, but it does everything it says on the tin. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with it. I, I can't complain. Um, I, I'm chuffed as nuts with it. And, and, and all being well, it should uh, it should outlast me anyway. Like, you know, so. <laughs> but, um Right, well, you'll either get a cut into the next bit, or I've got a feeling I'll do that on the next video. But, well, YouTube, like, share, and subscribe. You'll take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.